guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing an inexpensive online wedding dress try on haul from JJ's house. If you have ever shopped online for wedding dresses or bridesmaids dresses, chances are this site has popped up for you in your Google searches. I know it did for me. And in the end, I actually did buy one veil from that store, but I wasn't that impressed. So when they reached out to me the other day and said, would you like to do a wedding dress try on haul? We'll let you pick five dresses. Yes, I would like to do that because there's so many people who are searching for online wedding dresses, have stumbled upon this website and are definitely looking for real life opinions on how the dresses are. And for full transparency, they have paid me to do this video. However, all the opinions and everything that I'm saying is not even being vetted by them. I'm not sending them the video to review. I'm literally going to film this, give you my opinions, upload the video, and that is all. Okay guys, but before I get into the first dress, I just wanted to show you how crazy disorganized my apartment becomes when I have to shoot these try-on hauls. Please look. Wedding dresses everywhere. My kitchen table is at a place. I have a mirror up there. Mirror on this side too. Like it is chaos in here. Just wanted to let you into that inner behind the scenes view. Now I'll get into the first dress. The sun is in my face, but are you ready for the first dress? Here it is. It is beautiful for the price. I love the way that it flows. It fits actually lovely. Like they did a really good job with the customization. I could easily just wear it like this without doing anything to further customize it. Like just aesthetically how it looks is very nice. It's very classic. I like that it's like modest-ish, but yet it has these detailing aspects that make it look a little more trendy. I think the only thing is like at this point, I probably tried on 200 wedding dresses at least from actual bridal boutiques. I wouldn't say that this feels as luxurious as a $2,000 wedding dress, but it's really nice. Scale of one to 10, 10 being the best dress I think you could possibly get for $300, a seven. Okay, one more thing I wanted to highlight about this dress. The reason it doesn't feel super luxurious is because it's not super heavy. And I just wanted to call out the other side of that, that if you're having a summer wedding and you don't want something that's gonna be hot, this is a really good option. So that's one more perk of this dress. Okay, now on to dress number two. Here is the second dress. How do I put it? It's pretty. I really like the lace detailing. I like the chiffon at the bottom. I love the way it flows, it's beautiful. There's little sequins all around the bottom, which adds a little bit of like glitz and glam, which I like. Again, this is a custom size. It fits up top really well, but down in the bottom, it's like there's this much extra fabric in my bum area, and I probably would want that in, so that in and around the hips, it's like really figure enhancing, I'd say. There's a few aspects of the workmanship that I'm not 100% thrilled with. Let me show you up close. This is kind of what I'm talking about in the workmanship. There's like pieces of the netting that haven't really properly been cut off. I'm like, this is coming unraveled. So probably if I bought this dress, I would get these sewn down so they're not like sticking up because I feel like that's the problem here. So if all of these were sewn down, and then I took this in a little bit. I think this dress would be really, really amazing. But yeah, it fits really nicely like in this area. There's boning, it's structured really nicely, really whimsical. This is really my style too with the floral lace. If it fit 100% properly, and the only issue was up here at the top, I would rate it probably an eight or a nine even. Um, for the style, like they really killed the style. Dress three, here we go. This is very like princessy, um, but it's it's beautiful. I like the off the shoulder factor. I like the way it poofs out at the bottom because if that's your style, that's clearly what you're going for. From the side, it's also very flattering. Like I noticed it doesn't poof out too much in the front. It's like quite straight in the front and then poofs out more in the back to give you a more feminine kind of figure. I like the 3D effect of like the lace, and then additional pieces kind of stuck on, which I think is really cool. Let me show you some up close. For my phone footage, here we go. Here is what it looks like up close. So you can kind of get a feel. The only thing I don't 100% like is the way 
this feels on my skin. It looks fine. It just feels a little bit scratchy. But yeah, it looks really pretty. And then just to give you a different view of the full shebang and how it flows. I would rate this probably eight and a half out of 10. This looks like it would cost way more than 250 something dollars. This looks like it would cost $1,000 at least, $2,000 maybe. If you want that off the shoulder sleeve vibe, it's the vibe. I like it. This is, this is a good one. Next, dress. And by the way, I'm saving my best dress for last, the one I'm the most excited for, so you'll want to keep watching. And a bit of self-promotion. If you're liking this video so far, then why don't you hit subscribe or like it or leave me a comment. Tell me which one is your favorite. Okay, on to dress number four. This is my dress number four. It's a strapless A-line dress with a nice, elegant train. I think it fits so phenomenally well. The sizing is perfect. It hugs all the right places. It's not gonna fall down. Where it's going out is exactly to my body. So that just says like they did an amazing job with the customization of the size. The lace is beautiful. Again, they have like a 3D effect happening here. Appliques and then they have more appliques laid on top. And I think it's just, it's beautiful. Um, let me show you up close. So here it is, up close. So you can see there's like a nice long train here. I really love this. I'll never have a situation in which I ever need to wear these dresses. Since you know, I already renewed my vows, so I don't think I'll do it again. <laughs> um, but yeah, I really do feel quite princessy in this in this dress. I think the fit makes a big difference though. Like I think the way that it's fitting me and like coming in at the exact right spot and going out at the exact right spot really emphasizes my waist. Do you agree? Now do you agree? You, like shade out, now you see? Gives me so much shape. Can you imagine this was like even tighter, like corset style? This would give me like the Kim K look. I'd say this one is probably a nine out of 10. Last dress coming up now. Let's go. Okay guys, this is the last dress and the dress I was waiting for. Let's start with the things I like. So I really like the way that all these appliques look and down to even the bottom. So can you see the bottom of the dress? Um, I like that. I love the way it flows and it's like big and long and it looks very expensive in that way. I love the neckline. I love the way that they did the back. I don't feel like it hugs my curves as much as the last one. I wish this just like emphasized my curves a little bit more. I like the color. I like the glitziness that's in the top. Let me just show you up close. You can see like some beading, which is nice. I really like the detailing at the bottom of the dress. Like this is all the way around the bottom of the dress. And it just looks really luxurious in my opinion. To be fair, if I saw someone in this dress, I would think this dress was a thousand plus dollars easily. I would never think that it's $300. Um, just because of the shape and the detailing, but now onto the things I'm not the biggest fan of. So the dress kind of comes out here, up until about here, then it seems to go in a little bit. Let's see, can you see that? And I notice like when I walk, that's the area that'll come in a little bit, like right after this point. And it's because they have this thing underneath from what I've seen, crinoline usually goes to the bottom of the dress. Um, here, it's not going to the bottom, which I assume makes it easier to walk. But to me, I just don't like that it's like naturally going to go in right after that. So that's one thing. The next thing is it's a little bit scratchy to my leg where all the seams are basically. It's a little bit scratchy, but I could live with that. It is also a little bit scratchy like around the neckline area. But again, I could live with that. Like if I got this dress, I'm not the biggest fan of. The way that they've done this stitching right in the top area. See how you can like see the threading if I had light skin, maybe you couldn't see this as much, but because I'm darker, you can. This I probably could fix by taking out these stitches and then going back over it with a clear thread. So not that big of a deal. 
But yeah, I really, I like the like lace that they've used underneath and then I love the appliques that they've put on top. They're really soft appliques. This is very princessy. It looks beautiful. It's beautiful in photos. If you have a nice big like church wedding or something, it is beautiful. Aside from those things that are like just little annoyances. Overall, I would probably rate this one an eight. Maybe I'm setting unrealistic expectations and I should actually shift everything up a number because the last dress I was in, now have now seeing all these options, I would switch that to a 10, I would switch this to a nine and so on and so on and so forth. But to not change anything, I would rate this probably an eight. So yeah. So now I'm just gonna wrap this up with my final thoughts. Now I gotta move my camera. Now you really get the behind the scenes in this video. So to wrap this up, you guys, I'd say a couple things. One, I feel like to the eye, like of people who are gonna look at you on your wedding day or like if you're looking in the mirror, all these dresses seem really nice and really expensive. So if you are looking for something that's affordable and that's gonna look really nice, I'd highly recommend any of these dresses to you. I think they all are really pretty. I think they did a really good job at the customization piece as well. So I would vouch for that because all five dresses fit well enough that I wouldn't actually need to adjust them if I didn't want to. And lastly, they did give me a discount code for 10% off your order. So if you're already looking into JJ Hips, this is perfect. The code name is Delia, so D-A-L-I-A, -A, you know, like my name. I, it's not an affiliate link. I don't make money off of it, but it's just for you guys if you want that extra the offer expires January 31st, 2020. I'll have all the dresses linked down below. Thank you so much for watching. If you like me, then why not subscribe to me? Check me out on Instagram and have a good day. Also down below, let me know which dress was your favorite. Okay, until next time, bye.